Now, the rule I wanted to go over with you is called the 180 degree rule. And I'll go, I made up a little uh, thing on Microsoft Paint here so I could draw it out for you. So, say your computer, or sorry, say your camera starts out over here on the left side of these two guys talking. So, these are supposed to be cameras not like pigs or anything like that so that's your camera and it's looking at these two guys having a conversation this line right here represents the 180 degree angle that you cannot or you're not supposed to go across so you can put a, oops, you can put a camera here oh man or here oh man my cameras are terrible but you cannot put a camera over here so you can't you do not want to switch your camera over here the reason why is because this is switching from the left over to 180 on the other side or over top of this uh, 180 degree line is jarring to the viewer and it's just bad camera work and it's one of the rules that you you just never do Kind of like how now you don't want to use drop shadow when you're using graphic design anymore. So this is just a general rule to follow by pretty much all the time. So I'm going to demonstrate the 180 degree rule and show you why it's pretty jarring in, uh, in After Effects here. So I'm going to duplicate one of my cameras here. We'll go to the top view so I can see it. Let's duplicate this one, which is number two. I'll put it on top and move it to the end here. Now let's rotate this all the way around. And I think it will be the Y. Nope. I'm just gonna have to move move it and then rotate it around. Move it to the other side. And then rotate this around. It's taken a little long, but there we go. Now I'm gonna look through that camera, and we can see it there. We're almost there. Now let's render this out and see what it looks like. I'm gonna switch to active camera. There we go. Here we go. And we're looking at this, and then it switches completely to the other side. Now that is jarring for viewers, and if someone's watching a movie or a commercial or something like that and it keeps on switching back and forth between a 180 rule it's going to be very annoying and might even give some people a headache and that is not what you want to do you want to make things that are visually appealing so I mean just uh, listen to the rule. You can look up the rule anywhere else if you don't believe me that it's actually a rule. I can type it in Google real quick. 180 degree rule. And I got Wikipedia right here. There's the rule. So it's just a basic guideline. Now, hopefully you guys uh, learned uh, something about animated cameras. It's very basic. It's easy to do. And... Um, 
just uh, helps give you some uh, different looking shots in there. Follow the 180 degree rule. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys in another tutorial.